So I know in one of the previous videos I had mentioned that this, although it worked for bolting the cross slide vise to the drill press tabletop, it's not straight. So I have to adjust both directions if I just want to follow a line that comes out on something that's clamped in the vise. So one of the things that I saw on Andrew Klein's and some of the other websites was MagSwitch has a new drill press vise mount magnetic base. So I got one of those. So this project will be swapping out the board with the magnet and then getting it lined up. Well, I'm thinking I should be able to use my precision measuring device, this thing. I should be able to use that to get it lined up front to back. I've at least seen other people do that when they're getting their vise lined up with their milling machine. So I'm assuming it's the same process because you have a part that comes down and does stuff and then the drill press vise or the, the vise that's there that needs lined up. So I'm assuming that should be the same. So we'll see how it goes. So first I have to remember and figure out what size bolts these are and get that disconnected. Then I can try and hook it up to here and then I can put it on there and yeah, you'll see. Well, I got it all unpacked. It comes with lots of nice directions and spacings and all that sort of directions. Problem I found though, if you look where the slots are, yes. if you look where the slots are, they don't line up where my drill press has its feet. So, and not only that, but if I center the drill press on the vise on the unit, the feet come out to the sides and there's no way to get these up in and have anywhere because the slots here, here and here and at most I might be able to get one side locked in. And I, there's no way I can even get this one locked in. So that's going to take a bit of thinking. If the center part were wider, maybe I could do something. But because this part of the vise sticks out past the center... Yeah, because the, the center of the vise is as wide as that, so these slots come out past. So yeah, that's... I'm going to have to think on that. With this being that wide, it doesn't really fit. So I have to think, if I, I mean, if I had a plate somehow that would go between these two, I could attach from the mag switch base up maybe up into the plate, but I don't know how that would attach because I'd have to take the whole thing apart to do that. I don't know. Maybe I will maybe I'll do this as a video and send it to Andrew Klein and see if he has any ideas. Because I know he helped another subscriber or another person who had a, a vice that didn't have hold downs. Or maybe I'll just think about it. I'm not sure. In any case, I like this part. I like this part. I'd like it better if they actually attached. But, yeah, that's just not quite wide enough. If I had another inch of width on the center, maybe that would be good. But then I'd have to have something that had all the slots cut in and such. And I'll have to see. So, I think I might have an idea of what to do to fix this. It'll be a two-step process, but I think it will work. So, the way these bolts fit down in the mag switch base is they fit down in that far fit up in that far and then it, you twist it and it locks if I had a piece of 3 8 inch plate that either this or different a larger width if I had this such that it would stick in that far the full length of the vise that way the vise would be fully supported uh, the whole length of it. And then that stuck out that far. Then I could bolt, drill and bolt here and maybe drill here 
such that it would go into the slots, the mag switch base, because if I put if I put that there, and looking here, going to that distance, the end of the bolt doesn't hit the top of the vise. So theoretically, if I did that, and was able to get it such that it was locked in successfully, then, assuming that's the right length, I mean, I can always trim these off as well. But that would lock the bar to the mag switch base, and then I would have, like I said, I think if I have it going this whole distance, that would, now let's see, take that off. So if I have this go the full distance on the vise, I mean, realistically, if I had a, a plate the full width, that would be better. But right now, I just have these bar pieces, uh, the flat bar pieces. So if I had it go that far, I do have enough currently to go the two sides. So I could try that and then see, think that may work. It's at least something to try. Now, granted, that means i got to cut this and then do some drilling and whatnot, but that's easy enough with the drill presses. I think the next plan, so instead of initially bothering Andrew, I'm sure he would be happy to help, but I think I'm just going to try on a different evening when I have more time. Cut this, drill and measure, and see if that works successfully. Now, it won't have this piece attached, but hopefully that'll be all right. I mean, if it's attached securely on both sides and supported the full length. I don't think this attachment point is as required, but we'll see. But anyway, I think the plan is going to be... So this will be like a part one video, I, I suspect. And then I will do a part two, or maybe I'll just wait and finish it later. But I'm going to try this. This bar is wide enough to be able to attach the bolt here and attach the hole down there. So yeah, I think that's how I'll try. That's, that's, that's since if I ideally I would have a, a plate the full size and could attach it that way. But since I don't, I might try it with just this, and we'll go from there. If that seems at all wobbly, then I'll see about getting a custom plate made that's that size, and then I could attach that to this because again this this is hollowed out underneath, so I can have the space there. To attach from here to mag switch vise and then once that's attached set the vise on top of the plate or bars and then i think that will attach down so yeah that'll be the plan